seems to be an, an epidemic of a phenomenon that I thought never would happen in pediatrics. Uh, old man diabetes. Diabetes when someone gets like 40 and gets a little heavy. Uh, how come that's happening and uh, how can we address this and maybe prevent that? Well, I think it's a very, very good question. We're seeing a rise now in that kind of diabetes in childhood to the point where it may soon surpass the typical kind of diabetes that we see in childhood, which is juvenile diabetes caused by a completely different mechanism. And the single most important cause of this uh, type of diabetes in childhood is overweight. And as overweight worsens and we don't see any end in sight, so does the epidemic of type 2 diabetes. I think it's important to stress that it can be prevented. If children are brought to medical attention early enough and the medical attention is appropriate and sensitive enough to preserve the child's self-esteem, to preserve the child's sense of self-efficacy, then those kinds of interventions may help those children forestall the onset of this kind of diabetes and of course the complications of that diabetes, the loss of limb, the loss of vision, the loss of kidney function, and of course premature death. This type 2 diabetes is different from type 1, because type 1, they don't make insulin. This one, they seem to make insulin? Individuals with typical juvenile diabetes suffer from a condition where the body destroys the ability of the pancreas, which is a tubular-shaped gland that sits behind the stomach and makes insulin. And in doing so, destroys the body's ability to make that chemical messenger called insulin. Insulin carries sugar from the blood into the factories, which lives inside of each of and every cell. This is different than type 2 diabetes, where we're making a lot of insulin, but it's just not enough to feed the size of our body. And after a while, the pancreas tires out and can't make enough insulin to keep up with the size of the body, and that's when type 2 diabetes occurs. Clearly, the treatments and approaches to them are different. In type 1 diabetes, you must take insulin. There is no other form of treatment. In type 2 diabetes, in the early stages, if it's caught early enough, then certainly exercise, diet, and maybe some oral medication may suffice. And I think it's an important time for me to reinforce and to stress with parents that if you see your child bedwetting in a child that's previously been toilet trained, please bring this to the attention of your primary care provider as soon as possible. It may be one of the earliest signs that your child has in fact developed diabetes. If they experience excessive thirst or they experience weight loss despite adequate intake of food, that too may be a sign of diabetes and I would urge you to bring those kinds of symptoms to the attention of your primary care provider as soon as possible. As a diabetic expert, um, today we can get diabetes pretty well controlled with different types of insulins, is this correct? There is no question that the advances in diabetes management today have really allowed our children to live full, healthy, and happy lifespans. We have insulin treatments that are far superior to what they were years ago and closely mimic what the pancreas typically does. We have insulin delivery devices, like for example insulin pumps, which allow the insulin to be delivered almost as well as the pancreas does, and we have wonderful monitoring devices such as finger stick blood sugar testing and continuous glucose monitors that allow us to know what the blood sugars are almost every minute of the day. These advances have lengthened the lifespan of children with diabetes so that they can all live happy and healthy long lives. So a well-managed diabetic can almost expect to live a full life like a normal person? Without question, a child who has diabetes that takes care of themselves and a family that strives to take care of their child with diabetes, as challenging as that may be, the payoff is enormous. And I think that if they do, they'll see their children live long, happy, and healthy lives without any long-term complications. So the best treatment for uh, type 2 diabetic would be prevention. That would be exercise in early age, weight control in early age, is that true? I think for all children, regardless of whether or not they develop type 2 diabetes, but certainly in those at risk where family members may have diabetes, those are families that should be paying particular attention 
to being physically active and eating right so that they can uh, prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes in their children. Thank you very much.